Wagwan YouTube figure here, welcome to today's Destiny video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this week's best vendor weapon. Now, this week's weapon I have tried to avoid covering for a number of weeks now, but this week it is just too good to pass on. I'm of course talking about the palindrome, which means this video is going to be very interesting. So make sure if you do enjoy, you slap that like button down below. And of course, if you want more content like this from me, be sure to subscribe. But anyway, let's jump in. So obviously coming over to the Crucible Quartermaster and take a look at the palindrome. Let's take a look at the perks. So in terms of sights we have the Quick Draw IS, Fast Draw IS and finally the True Sight IS and in terms of perks we have Hot Swap, Icarus, Explosive Rounds, Rifle Barrel and finally Look in the Chamber. So ladies and gents this is a god roll. I'd probably use Look in the Chamber, Rifle Barrel, Icarus and the True Sight although Hot Swap is an option but for me Icarus is just awesome. But we'll get onto that in just a second. So how well does this hand cannon actually perform? First up, PvP. The reason I have not covered the palindrome for so long is just the fact I think we all know it is the best PvP primary in the game. But what is so special about it this week? The perks are just so good. First up we have Icarus. As you may or may not know, relatively recently hand cannon's airborne accuracy along with a lot of primaries was nerfed so Icarus comes in handy when you're jumping in the air and shooting targets at a longer distance. And then we have Rifled Barrel. Rifled Barrel increases the palindrome to that max range and it's just essential for this archetype of hand cannon and it just makes this weapon that little bit more versatile and pack that heavier punch. The look in the chamber perk can also come in handy. It can often change the tide of battle. One minute you're losing a one on one, the next minute look in the chamber procs, you do the excess damage and finish them off. The only negative I can see on this weapon is the true SAR IS scope. It's probably not the best sight for this weapon, but the aim assist it provides is high enough for it to still be classed as a god roll. Next up is PvE. In PvE the palindrome is alright, it will do well in things like strikes and story missions, but for higher tier activities like the Nightfall or the Raid I would just pass on this weapon. In terms of perks, I would move from Rifle Barrel to Explosive Rounds, it helps you clear up adds a lot faster. I'd probably also switch out Icarus for Hot Swap due to the fact it allows you to snipe bosses, then quickly switch to your primary and it makes clearing adds again that little bit more easy, but for me, I would probably not use it in PvE. The palindrome is the best PvP hand cannon in the game and with these perks you're going to be at no disadvantage so make sure you pick this weapon up if you haven't already. On that note that about wraps up today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did be sure to slap that like button down below and if you're feeling generous, sharing this video does in fact help my channel grow. And of course if you want more content like this from me be sure to subscribe. And if you want to stay up to date with the Destiny universe, be sure to follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. But in the meantime, I've been Thick of the Man. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, boy. Oh.